When you execute an alignment operation, QVPAC modifies the current coordinate system. If the current coordinate system is the default MCS, the first alignment establishes a partial PCS. If the current coordinate system is already a PCS, an alignment modifies that PCS. If you plan to reuse the current PCS, it should be saved or exported before performing an alignment. In a mechanical drawing, the dimensions and locations of a part features are presented in terms of a coordinate mode that is defined by the features of that part. When you inspect a part, it should be measured with respect to the PCS rather than the MCS to ensure that the correct location and orientation of the dimensional measurements. This is accomplished by creating a PCS and aligning it with the part. Creating a PCS and aligning to it to a part requires three steps. First, align the XY, YZ, or XZ plane. Second, align the axis. Third, align the origin. In this video, I'll be showing the setup of the machine followed by the steps in establishing a part coordinate system of this template. A is the bottom surface of the workpiece. B is the horizontal line at the bottom surface of the workpiece. C is the vertical line at the bottom surface of the workpiece. Firstly, we have to clean the workpiece and the stage to remove dust and other particles. Then, we place the workpiece flat on the stage parallel to the side of the machine and secure it with a blue tag. Switch on the power supply, computer, and the QV remote control box accordingly. Next, open the QV pack software and click OK to allow initializing. At the bottom right corner, an additional window called QV Basic Editor. For this exercise, I'm going to replace it with QV Easy Editor as it relays a detailed part program that is automatically recorded at the start. You can change it by clicking Menu and New. Okay, now that's done, let's now move the lens close to the workpiece. Mm, let's say around 5 cm. In this case, I increase both X and Y axis and decrease my Z until I can see my feature in the video window. Increase the coaxial light to 100 to guide your optical lens to any feature. For example, this bottom most left circle. Navigate your pointer to the lens properties box. As you can see, the default magnification is at 2. Switch the magnification to 1 in order to have a wider field of visible range which makes it easier to locate and focus. I will now demonstrate the first datum. Generally, the primary datum is located at the bottom plane of the workpiece. So what I will be doing is to collect points from surface of the plane and set it as our z-axis origin. Let's begin! Firstly, turn on the saturation icon. Note that the video window is filled with red patches. Reduce the intensity of the coaxial light until there is no red patches. Focus the lens until you have a clear image of the surface. I will reduce my coaxial light a little bit more. Click the record light icon. Now that's done. Let's measure the plane. As you click the plane feature, you will prompt to select an edge detection tool. For this demonstration, I will use the surface focus with point. This tool is the combination of surface focus tool and point tool. Make sure you also select one click and auto run in your edge detection toolbar. What I'm going to do is select one point from each corner of the workpiece. In order to ensure my measurement is accurate as possible, I will pick points near my target line as it represents the center of the lens. Once 
Once I'm done, I click OK. Since it is a datum plane, I don't really need the dimensions, so I don't tick any boxes. Just rename it as datum A. We now have the plane. All we need to do is to set it as the XY plane origin. Click the Align Plane icon and highlight datum A. Ensure that it is the XY plane and tick Translate Origin. Since our datum A is at the bottom surface of the workpiece, take a line negative direction. Note that the measurement window auto generate only the z axis. B is the horizontal line located at the bottom of the workpiece. We will take points from the line and align it so the axis is straight. Let's get started. Firstly, Reduce the coaxial light and increase the stage light. Notice my saturation light is still being switched on. Adjust the intensity until red patches does not appear. Move to the left end of the workpiece and make sure the target line is near the line we want to measure. Since it is a line, I will use the line feature. The software will prompt me to select an edge detection tool. I will first select the focus edge without a point tool. And after that, I will select the box tool. One at each end of the line. This will be my datum B. I don't need any measurements now, so I click OK. Now we have to align datum B. Click the alignment axis icon and highlight the datum B. Alignment axis should be X and its rotation is Z. Click OK. C is the vertical line at the left-hand side of the workpiece. Unlike datum B, we will just take the points. Move the lens towards the vertical line. In this demonstration, I will show you another way of focusing the edge. Make sure the target line should be near the workpiece. Click the autofocus tool in the toolbar. Click the XH focus tool and click onto the edge. Next, click the line feature. Similar to datum B, I will use the box tool and take points from each end of the line. Name it as datum C and then click OK. Click the record light icon. To complete our alignment setup, we need to find the intersection point of datum B and C. We name that point as origin. Using the align origin icon, we set the origin as our datum for x and y axis since we already translate datum A as our xy plane datum. To save the current PCS, you can find it in the Align menu or in the menu bar. In the Save current PCS dialog box, type a label or just give it a name for the PCS and click OK. After saving this PCS, you can create another in the same part program. You can recall the previous defined PCS to evaluate the feature and output the data with respect to a different PCS by clicking the Recall PCS in the Align menu and select the Saved PCS. Or, if you want to retain a PCS indefinitely, you can export it to a file. For instance, you can save a PCS to be used with a specific fixture. You can find the export PCS in the Align menu. 
In the Export PCS as a dialog box, type the file name and click Save. You can also import a previously defined PCS from a file. In the same Align menu, you can find the imported PCS and select the saved PCS you wish to select. QVPack imports the PC and it becomes the current PCS. To ensure the current PCS is accurate, repeat the three alignment steps again.